The Shaolin and the Wu Tang could be dangerous. Oh yeah, what's up, peoples? Mood six one six back with another entry in my personal top twenty five hip hop groups of all time. You can hear in the background, you can see it on the chest. It's the motherfucking Wu Tang clan. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, number 11? Motherfucker, what? How's that shitting on your top five? Um, <laughs> these lists are so hard to make. You know, I mean, I mean, being in the top 25 is good enough. I mean, you know, it just it doesn't really matter. Um, the fucking Wu Tang Clan, man. This is one of the most unique groups of all time. I mean, really, there's not a lot I can say that you don't already know. I mean, you know, they were the first really huge, like, big, big <coughs> super group. I mean, really, I mean, they were super group before people even, before they even knew that they were super group. I mean, made up of fucking, like, nine members is ridiculous. That's a huge fucking group to come out with. Um, I know on this album, I think You God only has the one verse on, uh, Mr. Chess Boxing because he was, he was in jail at the time of the recording of this record. So he's not even on the album really at all. Uh, you know, the album's, you know, there's verses from all of it. It's, it's a good balance for having 12 tracks and definitely one of the, the most amazing debut albums by any group in the history, man. This is one of the best albums ever recorded. The, the Rizzo's production is so dusty and fucking, it's just, oh, it's so dismal and fucking awesome. Like, dismal's a bad word, but like, it's just, it's toned. It's just such an interesting way of mixing how he did this album. It's dirty, it's dusty, it's great. Love this fucking album. It's just, everything works on every element of hip-hop, man. MC, beats, the fucking samples, the fucking energy, the lyrics. Uh, fuck. It's seriously, it's it's something special. This is an album that marks, you know, a, a, whole, a totally different, you know, the start of a new generation of hip-hop, really. In my opinion, it's, it's the start of something special. Um, I mean, really, everybody knows all the songs in here. You can bring the rhymes to the background. My personal favorite tracks on here are Mystery Chess Box, and I love, I love tracks like that where there's just fucking verse after verse, and I, I think some of the best verses on this album are on that track. Um, I mean, even You God's verse is fucking good. You know, the guy gets hated on so much, but it's not really as bad as people think he is. Um, Protect Your Neck is just fucking classic. Um, I still remember the very first time I seen the video for Cream. I almost shit my fucking pants. Like, Inspector Deck was just sick in that song, man. Uh, still to this day, it's one of my favorite MCs from the group. He does his best work with the clan. Like, his solo stuff, not the greatest. I don't, I don't know. He seems to put a lot more energy into writing his, his rhymes um, on the on the Klein albums, uh, yeah, so, but, you know, definitely a fucking classic record, Klein in the front, gonna be so simple, it's just an amazing track, it fits in so well in this record, in my opinion, uh, Tears tells a great story, like, just, it's one of the best albums ever recorded, I mean, you can't deny this fact, it's, it's sick, um, I've had this argument with so many people over the years, and I've heard people say that they actually like this album more than, than, uh, 36 Chambers, I've got to say, fucking hell no, because there's a bunch of songs, like, I love the first disc on this record. I think the first disc is phenomenal. I think it really falls off on the second disc on a few tracks. Like, I don't like, I don't like ODB's dog shit on here. Um, there's a couple tracks, I can't even think of what they are right now. Not the greatest, but I mean, I've actually put together, like, you know, everyone has a fucking iPod. I make my own version of it. Uh, you know, I take out a few tracks on it and just, yeah, it'd be like a 79 minute album. You know, um, I think this album is phenomenal. I think Trump is uh, just sick, man. Like, I mean, Inspector Dex verse, once again, is probably one of the best verses ever, ever written in that track, you know. Uh, Reunited's awesome, for heaven's sake, Visions, it's yours, I fucking love it's yours, man. Raquan tears that track. Um, Impossible's dope. You know, I even like Little Ghetto Boys, it's cool, the projects is sick. Um, yeah, it's Severe Punishment. They got some fucking hard beats. This album is a lot different sounding, in my opinion, uh, 36 cha than 36 Changer Chambers. It's a good record. In my opinion, I think they could have done... There's like 27 tracks in I, You know, I guess with the two... I guess there's only like 25 tracks, I guess, theoretically, but... Um, they definitely could have done with, you know, about five or six tracks off the album. It's still classic in my opinion. It's great. I love it. Um, you can't take any, anything away from the clan. It's phenomenal. Uh, on to the third album here, the W. Um, 
this is an album I really, I could never really get into a whole lot, man. ODB wasn't really part of the track at the time. He was all locked up and shit, so he wasn't recording with them. Um, I do like tracks in here. I mean, I like Gravel Pit and stuff. Uh, uh, chamber music was cool, man. Careful is okay. Like, Protect Your Neck to Jump Off was cool. Like, there is some good tracks. I, I thought this album just felt... It, had, it just had a different feel than the previous two. It just it seemed a little uninspired to me. Uh, I didn't find the Rizzo's beats overly that great. Um, you know... Uh, I thought, I think the one thing that really kind of pissed me off about this album, you know, the fact ODB wasn't really on, and I was a big fan, but it's the fact that there's so many features on here. Like, you've got Buster Rhymes on here, you got Isaac Hayes is a cool feature. You got, you know, Buster Rhymes, Snoop Dogg, Redman, uh, Nas, you know, Junior Reed. Um, I just thought they could have done without so many damn features. They have such a big crew. I, I like to hear a Wu Tang album, like the first album, with just the clan. You know, no fucking features on the record, man. They don't need to have features on their albums. I don't know why they do it. They just, it seems lazy to me. It just seems lazy. Because they have the guys that fill in those verses. Um, on to Iron Flag. Now this album, I always, I always kind of like this. I like In the Hood and stuff. It was, it was easy, you know, figuring track. Um, I always thought this album was pretty cool. It, it did, it was a little shorter on, uh, on features, which I did like. Uh, back in the Game with Ron Isley was a cool track. Another album that's really, it's not a standout album in their, in their discography, but it's still decent enough. I mean, I can't really hate on this album a whole lot. I mean, it does seem, it does seem to me, again, a little inspired, but like I always said, you know, 2000, 2000, or 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, like those years in hip hop were this transitional period where everything was changing. I, I always find out there's a lot of shitty albums in there. You know, 2003 and 2004 were just fucking awful fucking years. Um, it, it's not bad though. It's 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 if you're if you're a clan fan, you should probably definitely own all the albums. But uh, Eight Diagrams, the latest release from the clan. Um, I'm a big fan of Take It Back, the Easy Mo B track. I really like this album. You know, I tried to like this album a lot more. I've listened to this album a lot. It has grown on me. It does get a lot of fucking hate. Uh, even by, like, you know, the most hardcore Wu-Tang fans. I think it's pretty good. Um, I haven't listened to it in a while, actually. I honestly can't even really remember the album that, that well. Uh, yeah, I mean, this album came out in 2007, so it's been five years. I don't think I've even listened to it in three of those years, to be honest. But, um, you know, I, I really tried to like this album a lot more. It's not really the best ever. Uh, obviously, you know, ODB's not on the record. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't really know what to say about it. There's some... Oh, the song Wolves on here with fucking George Clinton. I really like that track. That's cool. It's good to hear George Clinton still doing songs, you know, like here and there, features and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. I mean, really, I, I do recommend all the Wu-Tang albums if you're a big fan. But obviously the first two albums are must-owns. If you're a hip-hop fan and you don't have those albums, yeah, there's probably something wrong. I don't... Um, you know what, I guess I'll just show up. I got a couple of the Wu-Tang compilations. They have so many of the, the compilations that I don't necessarily, you know... Um, I'm not... I don't really want to show all of them, but I thought... Here's, here's a random greatest hits album. The Wu Massacre album with, you know... Uh, Goes Ray and Matt. Um, I thought it was decent. It was decent. The only problem is it was fucking short, man. It is decent, though. You know, uh, uh, Legendary Weapons. I thought it was really good. I thought there was some really sick fucking tracks on here. Uh, Legendary Weapons is a dope track. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was okay. Uh, Enter the Dubs. Oh, here's the thing different than Music One, which is sick, man. Uh, I thought this was really cool. The uh, Liquid Storage Man, Genius and Ross Pass is sick. Biochemical Equation, Riz and MF Doom, sick, man. Um, Versus is dope on here. Uh, Oh, give it up with Jay Lab and R is cool. Um, cool stuff. Here's the part two. It's the dubstep remix. If you're into dubstep, whatever. I picked it up because I just wanted to hear it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, the chamber music. You know what? It's okay. It's all right. Uh, the unreleased uh, Wu Tang and Friends unreleased stuff. There's actually some pretty decent tracks on here. Um, I do like the Shaheem songs on here. It's all right though. 
and uh, here's the swarm. I know I'm missing lots of the compilations and stuff. I'm not overly a huge fan of them. Some of them I thought are really bad. I do want to get the Lost and Down Anthology one. I think that one's really good. I have it downloaded. I need to get a hard copy of it though. Uh, the Swarm, um, Never Again. Such a fucking sick song. Man. Remedy, love that track. There's some pretty good songs in here. Overall, not my favorite. Uh, so that's some bonus stuff I thought I'd show. You know, it's fucking random thing. I'm not gonna get into their their fucking solo records because that would take fucking a hundred fucking thousand days to go through it. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Wu Tang number eleven, and I'll be breaking in the top ten probably within a few days. So stay tuned for that. Got lots of good albums to show and talk about. So if you're liking this series, keep watching. Thanks for subscribing. Peace.